question number one on the part two, which is the longer response part. And it says the demand for a certain commodity is given by P equals 150 over X squared plus 4, where P is the price per bushel and X is the number of bushels and millions sold each year. So the first part says economists predict a harvest of 4 million bushels for the year. According to that forecast, what is the expected selling price of a bushel of the product? So we really just need to substitute x equals 4 into our equation to get what the price is. So p would be 150 over 4 squared plus 4. So that's 150 over 4 squared is 16 plus 4 is 20. So 15 over 2 is 75. So the economists are predicting that the expected selling price of a bushel of the product will be $7.50. That is part A. I need more room to do part B, so I'm going to erase it. Part B says, because of flooding in late in the season, economists reduced their predicted harvest from 4 to 3.8 billion, um, or sorry, 3.8 million. Use differentials to approximate the change in the expected price of a bushel. So remember, differentials for this equation, we would have P prime of x, right, so which is, so we have dp over dx, which is equal to the derivative of this, p prime of x, and then you multiply both sides by the change in x, so we get that dp is equal to p prime of x times the change in x. So, we first need to take the derivative of this, and the derivative of this is the derivative of the high, which is 0, times the low minus the derivative of the low, which is going to be 2x times the high, which is 150, all over low squared. So x squared plus 4 quantity squared. So we're really just looking at a negative 2x times 150, all over x squared plus 4 quantity squared. And our dx here is going to be the change from um, our initial value of 4 to our um, new value of 3.8. So it's going to be 3.8 minus 4, which is going to give me a negative 0.2. So now I can just plug and chug. So I have dp is equal to negative 2x times 150. Actually, and I'll just make that a negative 300x over x squared plus 4 quantity squared times a negative 0.2. So here, and again, this is, the value that you plug in is your original value. So we're going to be plugging in 4 for x. So that gives us negative 300 times 4 times a negative 0.2 all over, remember 4 squared is 16 plus 4 is 20 squared will be 400. So I can go ahead and Cross out the 2, make it a 1. Cross this out, make it a 2. So that gives me negative 1,200 times negative 0.1 all over 200. Yes. Okay, and then by multiplying by 0.1, I get rid of one of my zeros. And it's since it's negative, it's po negative times negative is a positive. So I have 120 over 200, which was the same thing as um, three fifths, right? Because 12 is six. If we divide both of them by two, that'd be six over 10, which is, you know, is equivalent in money to 0.6, which is 60 cents. So if our bushels decrease by 0.2 million, then our price will increase by 60 cents. And remember our initial here, A, this is B, our initial A was $7.50. That's what we found. So C asks us, the last part says, use parts A and B to estimate the selling price if the harvest 
is 3.8 million bushels. So if the harvest is 3.8 million bushels, we're going to take our $7.50 and we're going to add 60 cents to it. And so that's going to be $8.50 times 3 times 6 times 7. And that is your final answer for one.